AFCON, I was privileged to play six AFCONs. Um, I played my first Africa Cup of Nations was in uh, uh, here in Egypt in 1986, so it's a long time ago. Um, and every Africa Cup I did own story. And so starting, uh, we were in a tough group with Cameroon, with uh, Algeria, with Morocco. You know, in those, w in those days, the Africa Cup, only eight teams qualified. So it was very, very tough. And so uh, we played against the Roger Millers, the uh, um, uh, Thomas Mkonos, and, and all these players in, in, this, in this time. And, and so, you, you know, evolving, if you look, when Zambia started to make a name for itself, you know, 1992 in, um, in, in Zigonshow, in, uh, in Senegal, uh, where we are also in a tough group with, uh, with Ghana, uh, with Egypt, and, and all that. So um, I have wonderful memories. But um, uh, every Africa Cup, you know, 94 was a difficult one for Zambia because we immediately lost uh, the same generation, uh, the golden generation of Zambia. Uh, that died off the coast of Gabon. So we had to rebuild a new team. And then in that year, Zambia went all the way to the finals in 1994 in Tunisia. So I, I think that for me, that was probably one of the, uh, the, the, the best uh, for me as an individual. Um, or the feeling. Um, uh, it opened up my heart. It, it needed sacrifice. It was a very emotional Africa Cup. So if I have to talk about one Africa Cup, then I think that I have to talk about uh, Tunisia 1994 when Zambia reached, reached the final in 1996. We were playing in South Africa and, you know, I scored, I was top scorer and, and also Zambia went to the semi-finals and then we lost to, uh, to Tunisia. So also, um, you know, something that we wanted to build on the, the euphoria, the, the, uh, the, the, the Gabon uh, um, air tragedy. Uh, this is important. All those three three years were always important to us as Zambia in order to see what we could be able to do. So I think probably those are the two Africa Forb nations that I will always remember in my life. <laughs> I was privileged to to play for for Zambia for a long time. Uh, I was in, uh, in in national team almost 18 years. Like I say. In, uh, captain of the old team, captain of the new team. Uh, but I would take one goal, probably that I've scored when I was, you know, n n not not uh, a player anymore. I was a coach of the national team, and I scored a goal against uh, Liberia in the World Cup qualifier. You know, in um, I think it must be 2005, 2004, uh, or something like this. So uh, I probably it it um, you know I thank God in this day because he, he had given me a lot in, in football and in Zambian football and in world football. Uh, probably that is the goal that, that, will, that will stand. Not to say that I haven't scored a few goals, but I think that will, I will always remember that one because of, um, uh, of the moment and um, of how it, it went in and how far it was. And we were trying to build now a new team with, with Zambia as coach, so a lot of emotions go, go through that. So. I think that I'll remain with that goal for the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's incredible. Um, football has changed a lot. I think when we, from the pitches, from the equipment, uh, from the shoes that the boys are, are wearing, um, everything, the training has changed so much. Uh, it has evolved. Uh, it's like every year something, something is changing about, um, about football in the world. And so African football has changed also. Uh, in the old days, uh, when you talk about uh, African football, when I, was, when I went to, to Belgium in 1985-86, when we were in, um, in Belgium, maybe there was maybe five players, African players playing in the, in the, in the league in, in Belgium in this time. You know, in, uh, you know all 18 teams. So uh, then there has come a movement, you know, around the year 2000 where you find a lot of young players. Uh, some of the players not, that have not even played in Africa, but they are from Africa and they are playing in Europe. Uh, they are there at, uh, at a young age. And so uh, there's a lot, lot of, of um, movement, uh, a lot of good play, got a lot of players getting opportunity with internet, with television, so we can be able to follow. We know exactly what, uh, 
what the big teams in, in Europe or what uh, the people are doing, what Ali is doing, what uh, the way Dad Casablanca is doing, what Dem Esperance is doing, what uh, uh, Orlando Pirates in South Africa and Kaiser Chiefs and Sundowns are, are doing in South Africa. So it, it's, it's given us, um, um, uh, it's much more open. Uh, of course, the level, I think that they, it's much quicker because of the, the training that, that is done. Um, in the old days, we would go running around the pitch, you know, be 10 times or, or, or 20 times, and, and that was the fitness <laughs> that you needed. But today, you know, you see the, the training methods, uh, people are wearing the, um, uh, what do you call the, the, um, the ones that they vest, that, that, they, that they are wearing now, that they can measure the recovery rate. Uh, they can measure how somebody so that doesn't get injured, uh, how many kilometers is able to run on the pitch. So there's both scientifically, so technically, scientifically, and um, as a human 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 body. So there's more every day. The people find something new of what how they can improve the football player. So as a result, it's more uh, centered on uh, on the individual and the team. Uh, and um, yes. I think that uh, our game that we played maybe was a little bit slower uh, if you compare to the pace that it is being played today, so which is, which is something that has evolved. Okay. Um, can you tell us who was your football idol when you were a younger player? Uh, it's, it's difficult. In, uh, in, um, uh, in Zambia, I, I, I played in, in, a, in a small team. When I started, I was still at school. There was a guy called Alex Chola. And he played for the Zambia national team, and I used to go and watch him training, and I used to go, and uh, uh, and w watch him every two weeks, um, and he could do magic, you know, really magic in the in the on the pitch, um, and then Zambia was also privileged to have a, a goal scorer like uh, Godfrey Chitalu, uh, who was my father's favorite. But because growing up in Zambia in those days, you you saw these people uh, at the, from an early age. And um, and you wanted to emulate them, how they were able to. So I would say uh, they were my first uh, my first heroes as as uh, as individuals in in that. Uh, one was also my my master when I was playing as under twelve and under fourteen. Uh, he I he, he was there, and then then I got an opportunity to play with him uh, in in the team, uh, and then I got opportunity to play with him in the national team. So you know so. You know, I was like his, <laughs> his assistant even when he was in the national team. And I, I say this to, to the players that, um, you know, when, when Alex Scholler was in the national team and I went to the national team and because he knew me when I was very young, I used to uh, take his boots so that I could clean them. But we were in the national team at the same time together. So that is how much respect that I had for, for him as, as, a, as a talented individual and uh, a man that I looked up, a man who was... Very few words, but uh, probably one of the best uh, African players that I've ever saw in my life. And that memory, you know, was able to shape me into, into who I eventually, you know, wanted to be as a football player.